South Carolina returned to conference play this evening against the Old Miss Rebels. However, they were held to merely three points as they took their first SEC loss of the season. The game started off hopeful for the Gamecocks with the defense squashing most of Jackson Dart's early attempts to gain some ground. The Gamecock defense forced Dart to throw three incomplete passes leading to a turnover. One of these incomplete passes missed the hands of former Gamecock Antoine Juice Wells. The Old Miss defense showed up similarly to that of the Gamecocks in South Carolina's first drive. One three-yard pass and a few short rushes weren't enough for a Gamecock first down, forcing them to turn over the ball as well. Once the ball was back with the Rebels, Carolina's defense was no longer able to hold off the Old Miss offense as Dart completed two passes and gained a first down before Henry Parrish Jr. took over. Parrish earned a first down of his own before scoring the first touchdown of the game with a three-yard rush. A Carolina fumble recovered by Rebel Walter Nolan and a 29-yard pass to Juice Wells led to yet another early touchdown for Ole Miss a few plays later. The score would remain the same until the second quarter when the Gamecocks were finally able to put some numbers on the board with a 40-yard field goal from Alex Herrera. Old Miss responded soon after with a 29-yard field goal of their own. Carolina's offense continued to suffocate under the Old Miss defensive pressure as they turned over the ball twice, subsequently leaving the door open for another Rebel touchdown before the end of the half. The Gamecocks began the second half with more offensive turmoil leading to a missed field goal. The Gamecocks were able to recover a ball fumbled out of the end zone by Wells, however it led to yet another punt. Dart ran 14 yards to the South Carolina 32 to set up another field goal, extending their lead to 27-3 where it would stay for the remainder of the game. South Carolina was finally able to make a long drive downfield into the red zone, but Mississippi intercepted the ball on the six-yard line. South Carolina will travel next week to Tuscaloosa, where they will take on an Alabama team that just suffered an upset loss to Vanderbilt. For SGTV, I'm Dakota Morris.